Um, so we were just doing a drill where Adrian's practicing uh, touching, blocking, and stepping. So that step and punch idea. So put their feet. Um, that's like good. And you're just gonna do the touch and step. And drop it back. So he's coming in. We were just doing this a minute ago. He's just practicing connecting his block to his strike and his footwork. So there's a nice connection of flow and momentum there. And that the relationship of the foot and the hand is there. And what we were noticing, I've had a bunch of issues in the past with concussions and stuff. So at first, when he was putting a lot of force into my shoulder, go ahead, it was getting stuck in my head. So what we work on sync and I need to stay relaxed enough in my mind that when he makes impact with the shoulder, there is no fear drawing the shoulders up and drawing that force upwards. Typically, if we're scared, we'll, oh, we'll be, uh, what's that, fetal? Yeah, we fetal response, the fetal position. We draw everything up, and that's an idea to help protect right, all that good stuff in here. But if you're me, it doesn't work so well. So I need to stay relaxed in the mind so that when he makes impact, I can have the capacity to sink that force and change through the internal alignment, change the location of that force to settle down either in Dantian or disperse it out of my head, disperse it from this area anywhere really that's not my head. So he can go ahead, I'm just holding my fist out. And so what I'm doing is I'm just expanding this area down here and I'm letting that force sink down. And most of it is not touching my head. And try with the close of the head now. Yeah. So get a little more power for it. Um, yeah. Also, I'm letting my body be moved back as well to help dissipate some of that force from my brain as well. If I stay still, I have to be more skilled at grounding and changing the relationship of that impact line out of my brain. So basically, in general, like I'm not feeling anything here. That force is dispersing and being moved, and the idea is to keep it out of my head. So if you have head issues yourself, you want to train enough and have enough relationship to your connective tissue system uh, through the awareness of your mind, enough relationship to that energy there and that momentum that you can start to alter where that impact might be leading, what lines it might be moving through, okay, or dispersing it, dissolving it, um, settling it down through the feet, whatever it is your model it is you're working with, you just really need to iron out those lines and it'll feel like no impact is touching the arm or very little is touching the arm and it's going more where you want it.